All right, welcome back, everybody. Today's video is going to be on a, another one of my watches uh, that I own. It is the SGW 1001A. And the 1A designation means that basically it is, you know, just their bare bones, nothing crazy with the color or anything like that. It's got a black watch, black band, um, but it does have the white face on it, uh, or I guess the tan face, which I love the most. Now, I did want to get out there real quick. I know there are a lot of you out there who have been leaving comments underneath the video saying more Android related content please and I hear you okay uh, I just want to say that you know again for me to do Android related videos I have to have the products to do the videos and a lot of you out there want me to do videos you know on phones you know Android phones and for me to do a video on a phone those phones are starting at around $150 and they go up and if I do a video on those, you know, cheaper phones, nobody watches those videos. And even the video I just did on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, I barely got over 100 views on that video. So, I don't get a lot of views on my Android videos. That doesn't mean I don't like to make, you know, Android-related videos, because I do. I love Android stuff. Again... Um, you've got to give me some ideas on it, and it's got to be on a topic that, you know, a lot of people are going to want to watch. As far as, you know, ROM flashing and stuff like that, i said in the past, I just can't do that anymore. Uh, with my second stroke, and I hate talking about my strokes in my videos, but with my second stroke, I just don't trust myself to flash a custom ROM on any of my phones, or to unlock the bootloader and go through all that uh, I'm going to end up bricking the device, and again, at what they cost nowadays, it's just not worth it. And believe me, I know that you guys are suffering the same as I am as far as money goes nowadays. And, you know, I just can't afford to go out and buy a bunch of Android phones. So, um, but anyways, if you have an idea, leave it in the comments section below. I'll go over it, see if it's something that's feasible, something I can afford, and something that, you know, others will watch, and uh, and maybe I'll do a video on it, so. All right, well, with that, what do you say we go ahead and dive into this watch right here? Okay, again, this is the Casio SGW1000-1A. Man, this is a nice watch. I've had this watch for, I can't even remember how many years I've had this watch. Over 10, I know that. And I've replaced the battery once in it, and it says the batteries in these will last for two years. I know for a fact they will last way longer than two years, at least in my experience. This is one of the watches that I wear more than any other watch in my collection. And the reason that is, is because the watch is just so light. I also like the fact that the area on the watch that you can visibly see is huge. So, I don't have any problems seeing the compass i don't have any problems seeing you know the barometer or the altimeter on it which i never use the altimeter uh, and i don't have any problems seeing the time or the date on it now there are a few things i don't like about it i don't like the fact that it only has a single clasp that holds the band down uh, i like the ones that have double and if it does have the single i like it to have a little tab at the end of the band here to keep it from sliding forward I also would rather have two holes as opposed to one hole in the band uh, for the latches to go in and hold it. They just seem to hold better for me. And I like them better. But with that said, the band on this watch is outstanding. This watch is so light. Now, I, I do have a page brought up on my computer that you know I can read from as far as the specs go. And 
the case size, okay, and this is length, width, and height. It is 54.7 by 54.1 by 15.3 millimeters. So 15.3 millimeters this way, um, 54.7 this way, and 54.1 in its width. The case and bezel material is, again, resin. It's, it's a plastic. But again, most of the Casio G-Shock style watches are resin. And that's something I wanted to get out right away. I'm not sure that this is actually one of Casio's G-Shock watches. Um, I just think it's, you know, a, just a Casio watch. But it, it could be one of their G-Shock watches. It doesn't say that it's a G-Shock on the website, but it's G-Shock-like. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, this watch right here is water-resistant up to 100 meters. That's 300 feet. Uh, again, this is a watch I would have no problems going swimming with anywhere around here. I don't think we have any place around here that's deep enough that's going to mess this watch up. So uh, that is really cool as well. Uh, the battery in this, it does say that the battery will last two years. It's a CR1616. In my experience, I've got way over two years out of this. All right, I just wanted to go through what the buttons do on this really quickly. Now, if you go to the button over here, this one here actually changes what you see on your main display. So, right now I have it set for the barometer, time, and of course seconds. If we press this button once, that gives you your month and day, and of course your time. Press it again, that gives you your, your month and day in that format. Press it again. And it takes you back to the barometer setting. Again, this is what I use. The bottom one takes you through your alarm settings. This one right here takes you through all of your alarm settings. So if you press it, it's going to take you through all of the different features of the watch. And then back to normal. If you want to set the watch up, you have to press and hold this button for, I think it's five seconds, and then it'll start flashing. And then what you do is rotate through this button right here like I just showed you and it will allow you to set it up. You have your plus and your minus buttons and that's how you set it up. It's it's that simple. If you want to see what your compass is, you press this button right here. That takes you to your compass setting. In this position, which is sitting up, it's not going to give you a true reading. But basically it has a dot here on the side that will rotate around, okay? Press the B button, takes you back. The next button is your barometer. Press it, just let you know what your barometric pressure is. Again, it's 29.70. Again, I have it set up in the uh, basic American reading. I don't know what it's called. It, it's really weird. Uh, you can set it up for European or the modern, what everybody else uses, you know, over in Europe and Canada. We will go ahead and press the B button to take it back. This is your altimeter down here. Press this. And now you're in your altimeter reading. Notice it's going across. It has both a gauge and a number. Now, as you start rising, this will actually rise. It won't be a solid black line. It'll start going up. Or if you're going downhill, it'll start going down. So... Right now, we're not moving up or down, so it's going to stay flat. So, press B button to go back. And, and there you go. Those are the functions to this watch. And, <laughs> again, guys, I love this watch. So, let's go ahead and get back to me blabbing. Again, I'm not going to make a really long video on this watch. Uh, there are so many other videos, really good videos out there on it. Uh, I just basically wanted to give you my thoughts on it. To me. If you want an ABC watch, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is the one to get. It's got all those functions that you want. It is less than $100. 
and it is super, super light. I mean, it is really, really light. The watch only weighs 53 grams. It, that is a light watch. Again, this is one of my lightest watches that I own today. Uh, it's crazy just how comfortable the watch is. I, you know, and I've said that I really wish the band was a little wider on it. But again, to be honest with you, I think if the watch band was a little wider, a little thicker, you know, like my Mudmaster and my Rangeman, I just think it would be, you know, that much more uncomfortable. Uh, that's one of the things I love about this watch so much is the fact that it is so light. Now, it also says in here that the temperature ranges for this watch are from its lowest temperature, which would be, you know, minus 10 degrees Celsius or minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've had it out colder than that, I, and I haven't had any issues with the watch. Now, I did want to mention that the glass on this watch is uh, a plastic, so it will scratch. But the nice thing is it has this raised bezel around it, which, you know, just keeps it from getting scratched. And you guys can see, I've had this watch for, oh, again, over 10 years. And the lens on this looks very nice. It doesn't look scratched at all. Now, yes, I would prefer to have a crystal lens on it like all of my other watches, you know, my higher-end watches have. I mean, uh, look, here is what I'm wearing today. Uh, this is my Bulova, and, you know, it has a crystal lens on it. It's not a glass lens. It is made out of crystal, and I love this watch. It is very hard to scratch. Some of the features on this watch, again, I'm not going to go through the whole thing and uh, show you, uh, again, because there are so many videos out there on this particular watch. You know, I wouldn't do it justice. I'm basically just giving you guys you know, my thoughts on the watch and should you go out and get it. And, oh, if you can find one right now, get it. You are not going to regret your decision to purchase this watch. Um, it does have world time on it, 31 different, you know, uh, time zones on it. I have it set for New York right now. Uh, it's got a stopwatch. It's got alarm with the uh, hourly time signal on it. Five daily alarms. So, <laughs> You're not going to run out of, you know, how many alarms. Uh, five alarms are quite a few alarms to have. Uh, the LED on it is white, which, again, is my favorite. It also has a mute feature, so you can put this in mute, and you won't get any beeps or anything like that. And I actually run mine in mute, uh, with the exception of the alarm, of course. The accuracy, they say, is plus 15 seconds per month, okay? Again, I'm not going to go too far into this watch. But what I will say is this is one of those watches, I think, that if you are looking for an ABC-type watch, but you don't have the money to plop down for uh, a Rangeman or a Mudmaster, and their lower ones are running around three to $350, their upper-tier models are running around $700, I highly suggest looking into this watch. Uh, again, I'll put it on my wrist, let you guys see what it looks like on my wrist. All right, there you go. You can see what it looks like on my wrist. I think it's an outstanding watch. Uh, again, like I said before, one of the things I love about it so much is just how light the watch is. Um, wow. <laughs> I can't get over how light this watch is. And to me, that's its biggest selling point, is just how light it is. It does suck that you have to replace the battery in it, but I have a lot of watches that I have to replace the battery in. It's not a wind-up watch, uh, and it does not have any solar features you know, to it, like some of my other watches have. But I can tell you that the back on it has four screws, as you guys can see right there, and it is so easy to take those screws out, pull the back off, uh, you, you know, pop another battery into it, make sure the gaskets, I like to take the gasket, wipe it off gently, and then put just a very, I just put a little Vaseline on my fingers and just kind of pull the rubber O-ring through my fingers, seat the O-ring back in, put the cover back on, and put the four screws back in, and away you go, and Bob's your uncle, <laughs> 
you're good to go for another, I would say, it says two years. I know for a fact that this thing has lasted me at least five years. At least. I will be doing a review on this watch before too long. And this is my Bulova that my wife got me. That'll be another really quick video because that thing has nothing but time. That's it. No dates, no nothing like that. Uh, it's just It just tells time. It is an automatic wind, and it does have an exhibition case back. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there you go. You can see it. So it does have an exhibition case back on it. I will be doing a video on that. And I want to do a video on my rangement. I think that's the only one of my mud masters that I haven't done a video on yet is my rangement. So that's it. Again, I just wanted to say that for those of you out there who want me to do Android related videos, again, comment below and don't put in the comments that, you know, hey, do more Android videos, please. You need to give me more direction than that. Let me know what you want to see, okay? If it's an app, tell me about the app. You know, I don't, I have no problems doing videos on, you know, apps. But if it is a video on a, a phone I have to have the phone to do the video on and in order to get the phone I've got to purchase it they are not going to send me a loaner phone to do a video on now if you have a phone that you want to send to me so I can review <laughs> you know I'm good with that and I will take care of it you know to my best ability and then I'll send it back when I'm done but uh, again guys and you all know because you're feeling it just as bad as I am times are tough and it is very hard to purchase things like phones, okay? The reason I do so many videos on things like a watch or, uh, you know, these action cameras is because, you know, those things cost less than $100. I can do a video on it and get 20,000 views on that video. So, you know, that pays for the item that I purchased, you know. But doing a video on a phone and I only getting 100 views on it, that really doesn't pay for anything. That, that isn't to say that I don't like to do those videos because I do. I, you guys know I love Android related topics. But again, in order to do a video on a phone, I have to purchase the phone. And that is out of pocket money that I just don't have. So I know I've been blabbing on that topic uh, long enough. So um, I just want to thank each and every one of you out there for uh, watching my videos. I do appreciate it. And I am trying to do my best to keep content coming. I have slacked off on pushing the videos out. I think I make a video now about every two weeks. But again, it's because of availability of stuff to make videos on, okay? Um, I don't want to <laughs> blow my load all at once, okay? I have a lot of things I want to do videos on, but I want to try to stretch it out a little bit. So, All right, that's all I have. Uh, I do want to thank each and every one of you out there. You guys are awesome. Uh, I love reading your comments. <laughs> I love reading your comments. Uh, they, they get crazy sometimes. But, you know, there you go. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to let you go. Uh, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.